going to be throwing the engine back into the racing mower. This is our 11 horse Briggs. Uh, some of our earlier videos from the winter, you would have seen us cleaning this inside and out. Um, we pulled the governor out of this uh, the proper way. We got rid of the internal stuff, the external stuff, and plugged up all the holes that were left from removing the, you know, shaft that uh, actually controlled the, the throttle. Put some new gaskets on, cleaned everything up, gave it just a general freshen up all around. Um, it's a little dusty there, it's been sitting out in the, the garage for a few months now. And yeah, if we're going to figure out what we need to do for the jack shaft on this, we're going to need to first put the engine back in. All right, so we got the engine sitting back in here now. Um, only put in two of the bolts, one on each corner. That's not going to be in there permanently, and it's certainly not going to be running uh, before we put the bolts back. You know, four bolts back in before we have even the the jack shaft and whatnot hooked up. Um, no point in running it because well, it can't go anywhere. We're going to be reusing the pulley uh, that was originally on the engine. The top part will be the actual drive pulley for this. Uh, we need to get rid of the bottom section. That's what drove the the cutting blades. Uh, since I'm not even sure we can get a cutting deck under this lowered mower anymore, and because it's not you know conducive to racing, uh, we're gonna have to get rid of that half of it. Um, as uh, always, we've bagged and tagged everything and taped all the mounting hardware. Uh, the big 5 8 bolt uh, to the actual pulley itself so we were not you know running around trying to find the bits when it was time to do this so yeah we're probably just going to end up I think the most simple thing is measure where the plate is in here and cut the shaft off um, you know, get rid of the lower half that way Alright, so this is our pulley that we're going to be reusing. We need this top portion as this is what's going to drive the lower pulley on the jack shaft which is going to spin the upper pulley and turn our transaxle pulley. Um, but we need to get rid of this bigger pulley because it might even be uh, sitting too low to pass over obstacles on the racetrack. So you can't really see it, but down in here there's a flat surface uh, with a hole in it. We have a big 5 8 bolt in here that screws into the... Oh crap, enough tape. Anyhow, this bolt goes through the hole in here and screws into the bottom of the uh, you know crankshaft. Alright, so it looks like it's 3 and 5 eighths inches down from the top of here to the top of the other pulley. So I'm going to cut that back by a half inch just so that we can maintain a little bit of cover for that bolt and so it doesn't get too messed up. What the hell, I'm going to go 5 eighths inch. So I'm going to cut it 3 inches below here. Make a couple marks. Then we'll just take some masking tape and connect the dots. That'll give us a nice straight line. 
Now we can cut along that line. I'm going to give this a whirl with the uh, hacksaw first. I don't feel like busting out um, exactly in the mood to bust out the grinder and everything right now. But if it's proving to be too much tedious work, that is exactly what we'll do. We've got a nice straight line that we're going to cut. I'm going to clamp this down to the workbench and get to hacks on. All right, so we got the pulley trimmed in half there. I uh, didn't bring you on the rest of that ride because I actually dropped the camera off the workbench and thought I'd broken it, but here we are. So we got the pulley trimmed. Should be short enough to clear everything on the ground that we need it to. Yet it's still long enough that the uh, bolt's going to sit there with a little bit of protection underneath, uh, filed off the rough edges. And it's good to go back in now. So I think that'll be it for tonight. I'm going to bolt this in, which isn't terribly exciting and dark underneath the mower. And then um, next time we're working on this, we'll probably be trying to figure out the measurements and geometry for the jack shaft and figure out where to place the pulley so that the clutch still works and all that fun stuff. Anyhow, thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next time.